Do you know in uh, Hebrews it says that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That's the way it reads in the King James, but really I think in the New American Standard it's a bit more accurate where it says faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We don't yet see what we have been promised, but we're absolutely sure. We're assu we've been assured that we will see something, whatever it is, the promises of God come to pass. You know, I mean, I, I was like, I think, so many other believers early on in my Christian life. I mean, you know, it was more, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. I mean, I know what your word says, like, like simple thing. You know, this really is a simple thing, it, but it becomes a big thing for a lot of people. The concept of tithing or giving, it's like, Lord, you don't need the money. I do. Come on, give me a break here. And it's true that God doesn't need the money, uh, but we need to learn to give. And to give is, we know it's covenantal. That is, it's, it's based upon an agreement, but it's a deep agreement. It's a relational agreement that to love each other, support each other, etc. Anyway, faith is, is, is there's an action. I got to get out my wallet and put some money into a bag or basket by faith I give knowing or being absolutely assured that God will supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus because I am a generous giver. You can kind of see, you know, faith, action, flow together. Now again, it's faith not just in anything, but faith in God's word. God wants us to see our faith increase. And it's not just faith in general, but it's our faith toward God that really we are to be working on. And so, um, you know, in your, your chapter, we, you, there's certain, you know, words that are used, Greek words. You'll, you'll look at those. I hope you spend some time to really read it. Maybe even look some of these words up in a concordance or whatever and get some deeper meaning but, you know, faith, there is a, the gift of faith, which is, you know, designed really for miracles. But all of us have a measure of faith that God has given to us. But our faith can increase as we know more, know more about God, know more about his character, know more about what God intends for us to be and for us to do. And so part of, you know, faith is really acting on the principles that we find in God's word with an assumption that if God said it, well, then we can believe that and we can act on it. And so I still remember, you know, back in the day, first time I ever decided to lay hands on someone. It was, I mean, it was a member of my family and she had this tumor in her throat. And, and so I laid my hands because the Bible says if you lay hands on the sick, they'll recover. And, and so I laid hands and I, I didn't know the right kind of prayer. I just said something like, Lord, please heal Ginger was the family member's name, and, and you know, I was so excited. The whole family was excited because the next morning that tumor was gone. And you know, we were excited mainly because we loved our family dog, and uh, we were happy to see that she was going to live longer. And you say, wait a minute, you laid hands on a dog? Well, again, you know, you got to start somewhere. I didn't know. I mean, I was just trying to be obedient and but now I don't have a special mission and calling to lay hands on dogs, you know, I mean. But God's promise is, if you lay hands on the sick, they'll recover. Well, I know a lot of people say, but, but that takes a step of faith. Exactly. And it's just that. It's a step. What happens? What's the worst that could happen if you laid hands on someone and you prayed over them that they'd be healed? Well, they, they died. That would be the worst thing. But, that's, but you wouldn't have caused it unless you really laid your hands on them in a you know, mean way. It's really, it's just being acting in obedience to what God's word has said, trusting the Lord that he really is good and that his promises are truly, as it says in the scriptures, they're yes and amen. I mean, we need to hear his yes. His promise for us is yes, I want you to have everything that I provide for you and I want you to come into agreement with that with the amen. So there's a lot you're going to talk about here and questions to respond to about faith. Faith, really, it's, it's an assurance. It's an absolute, I know that I know that what God has promised, he's going to bring to pass. But of course, we want to make sure that really God has 
has promised. Not just that it's something that you want or that you desire, but it really is a promise from God. Hey, in our next session, we're going to dive into baptism. Hallelujah.